At 53 years young, our next guest knows a thing or two about staying fit. In fact, she's a Hollywood stunt woman appearing in some of the biggest blockbusters, including, I know you've seen them, Blade, Batman Forever, and The Matrix. Please welcome to the show, Danielle Bergio. Welcome. Hey, Danielle. Uh, <laughs> First and foremost, Danielle, how did you become a stunt woman? Well, you know, I actually started my career as a dancer, which is not always the segue into stunts, <laughs> but I moved to, uh, I was working in New York and I moved to LA because I wanted to pursue more of the film and television industry. And that's where I encountered stunt people for the first time. And it kind of blew my mind. It wasn't something that I had ever thought of. I don't think I'm really the typical personality. I'm not a daredevil jumping out of planes and that kind of thing on my spare time. Um, but there's a lot of similarities there. There's a lot of choreography. It's a lot of what I call monkey see, monkey do, right? Stunts are always different. So you never know what the script calls for and you have to be able to just adapt your body accordingly. And that's something that I kind of took to, and I was very fortunate to get an opportunity and smart enough to say yes. Um, which was a huge lesson for me in facing my fears. I'm not somebody who typically would just stand on the edge of a building and be like, hey, let's jump off this. Um, so that's been tremendous. And it has just opened my world and given me so many incredible, incredible experiences. I have now actually jumped out of planes many times and out windows and been thrown downstairs and a bunch of fun stuff that I actually never thought I was capable of. <laughs> I like, I like the way you nonchalantly, oh, fun right. stuff, getting thrown out of a window <laughs> and all this stuff. Dr. Ish, what do you think? Do we have a little bit of an adrenaline junkie here? Uh, it, it, it sounds like there may be a little uh, <laughs> subconscious adrenaline junkie there. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, I gotta, I've got to get to the question, though, Daniel. The Matrix is one of my top two movie franchises of, of all time. i got to know. What was it like being the stunt woman for Trinity in The Matrix? Honest to God, it was a dream come true. I worked really hard to get there and I, I was fortunate enough to get that job. And honestly, the, the cast and crew was amazing. The experience was amazing. It was life changing and career changing. So I'm, I'm very grateful to have been a part of that. I hear you're a Keanu fan, right? Uh, I'm a huge fan, the entire cast, but Keanu especially. Probably one of the most um, generous people that I've ever met. And Keanu is one of the most talented physical performers that I've ever met. Wow. Well, good to hear. We're, we're big fans. So, I mean, it's a medical show. We have to ask you, I mean, any injuries getting hurt while, while performing these stunts? Yes, I think it's tough to have a career in stunts without getting knocked up a little bit here and there, knocked up in the physical way, obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, I have, uh, I have, I broke my rib actually on Matrix 2. There's a scene where Trinity is getting tossed around by one of the agents and he throws her through the wall and, and that particular mm. stunt broke my rib. And I've had multiple concussions, a few stitches. Rib, rib fractures can be particularly painful, hurts when you breathe, may take quite a while for that to heal. Did you perform stunts through that with a broken rib? I did actually continue my job on Matrix with a broken rib, and I got, I, I got through about a week of it until they put me in a harness and went to hang me, and all the pressure here oh. turned oh, out right. Oh, <laughs> no. like, oh. That's where I draw the line. That, that, <laughs> that sounds like a form of torture there. <laughs> so, so, Danielle, you credit your dance background and dancing for keeping you in shape. Is that right? That's absolutely right. And I can honestly say that through dance, I do feel stronger and healthier than I did even when I was in my 20s. It's great overall wow. body workout. It's great for the lungs. It's great for relieving stress. Um, it's it's my favorite. 